Mr. Mules can say a few words? Yeah, no, that's good. Thank you, Congressman Graham. I appreciate the opportunity to be with you today and many of my colleagues. I am Congressman Tim Mules Camp from the state of Kansas, and uh, I'm actually a farmer myself. I'll call you. And it was six months ago yesterday that uh, Mr. Dorzine appeared uh, before the House Agriculture Committee, and I asked him a number of questions at that time. <coughs> And uh, one of the simple questions I ask, uh, Mr. Corzine, what do I tell my farmers and ranchers in the first year? What do I tell them? Six months later, we still have no answer. Six months later, we still have no arrest. Six months later, we still have thousands and thousands of farmers and ranchers and co-ops and other entities not made whole. I'm here today to stand with my colleagues, as been mentioned, uh, in asking the Attorney General to appoint an independent council to get to the bottom where the money is, why it disappeared, what can be done to retrieve it for the customers. We need to find the people responsible and bring them to justice. I have my ideas who's responsible. I know in the real world who would be held responsible if the guy at the top of the, the, top of the list. He told our committee he didn't know, and his answer suggested he really didn't care. But, uh, Roll back in history a little bit, we'll talk about a conflict of interest. Let's roll back to uh, Acting Attorney General under President Bush. Had a concern about uh, revelations of the CIA being exposed. At that time, an independent counsel was appointed because it was clear there was a potential conflict of interest. Other times that's happened as well. But I'll tell you what, we can't wait another six months for an answer. Especially when during the next six months, during the next six months, the political futures those so closely tied to this investigation, that is the administration of the President of the United States, is tied to John Forsyth. We need to move the politics out of this, Mr. President. We know he was your major political bundle. That's why you need an independent counsel. If there was ever a textbook definition of a conflict of interest, we have it here today. The opportunity for corruption is ripe. But Mr. President, the opportunity, Mr. Attorney General, the opportunity is ripe for you and independent counsel to separate from the politics. And I'm usually not in the business of giving my, uh, giving the President of the United States political advice. He usually doesn't take it. This is the time. Your key political bundler, your biggest political friend on Wall Street is the one being investigated. No one believes, at least I don't, none of my farmers and ranchers believe that this administration is going to prosecute the full extent of law. That's why we need independent counsel. Six months ago, it was time for an answer. We look forward to uh, the President's response, the response of the Attorney General of the United States. I appreciate my uh, colleague, uh, Congressman Grimm, for bringing this to our attention, an opportunity to stand up for producers, farmers and ranchers across this country who did nothing wrong. They follow the law. They're the ones that are being hammered because of failure for this town, this administration, to get the job done correctly. So thank you so much.